Hi, good morning. I'm going to um, do some watering this morning. Thought I'd bring you with me. Why not? It's um, morning, morning, like early morning. Mm, had my first cup. This is my second cup. Had my first cup with um, a cup of coffee with sunrise. Morning coffee with sunrise. So it was nice. Okay, let me just get my watering can and we'll do this. Yes, I am in my pajamas. I mean, what better way to spend your morning than watering your plants, doing things in your pajamas? I think it's fantastic. Okay, so that's done. Fabulous. Ah, uh, I know, it's supposed to rain today. It was supposed to rain yesterday too, though, and it did not. And it watered yesterday as well, so... I mean, if it rains, bonus, the ground will absorb it. I won't overwater. <laughs> They're not in pots. Well, the one, the mint is in pots, but it's got lots of drainage on the bottom. It can go right through. Ah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. I'm um, going to a wrestling match today. Yeah, I'm excited about that. 
have not been to one in, in, in many years. Like, I don't know, 20, 25. So that's, I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, oh, been crocheting, uh, dehydrating, processing. I think I told you this. If you don't know, maybe apple pears. Anyway, just in case I didn't. And I heard the dehydrator just shut off a few minutes ago, so we should probably head in and look at these things. Check that. Uh, maybe show you some crocheting that I've been working on. I mean, I know I've been showing you, maybe. <laughs> um, but it, it's coming. It's growing. It's getting there. And, uh, yeah. All right. So I think we should go inside. Okay. Oh, cat's being weird. Or maybe not. Okay. I guess it's nothing. I bet she was being weird. Sometimes she climbs that tree and she's all weird. <laughs> I pause you and she goes insane. I start you again and she just loses her mind. Okay, so <clears throat> the sweater that I'm making. Um, it's okay. Very so nice. Thank you. Okay, so it's coming. The sleeve is not finished. Still working on it. But the length is done. Put your five button holes all the way up. And we'll have a hood. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to finish this off. Great. I think it's going to be fantastic. So that's in the process. I have made... Um, my sink is over dishes. They're clean. I did wash them last night before I went to bed. So... This is an apple pear sauce. That one kind of bit jars from the both seal. The both seal. The both seal. Um, one and a bit jars from leftover from what I put in the dehydrator. The dehydrator. Oh, I also got my mint. Get a big harvest from her mint plant because mine is coming back. <laughs> Somebody keeps harvesting all the all the all the mint bits out of it. The dehydrator. I turned. I just turned it back on. Um, okay, so these are my apple pear. But I also I did a um, I did a sugar. Like I I. I Dumped them all in sugar and cinnamon. It was quite messy the first little bit, first hour, because all the sugar melted and dripped down. But it's not, I mean, but they don't snap yet. They're still pretty flexible. So, I'm going to put them on for more time. If that doesn't work, then I'll pop them in the oven to finish crisping them up, like I did with my banana chips. Very good. Super sweet. Um, kind of like an apple candy. Kind of. Apple pear candy because it's an apple pear. Um, yes. They probably could have stayed on the tree for another few days, probably another week. And then they would be like running down your face, juicy, like those plums I was eating. But um, I wanted to, I wanted to get that dehydrator rocking again because it had been idle for like an old day. <laughs> and I wanted to get some more sauces made. Um, so I can make my own marinades. I you know I prefer to I prefer to know what is going to my body. You know, I mean the marinade that I bought, the package that I bought for the last turkey that I did was pretty much natural. All natural, pretty much all natural, right? I mean 
of the odd chemical in there that I cannot pronounce, but it's a preservative so that things stay not rotten. And um, that's fine. I just won't buy that again. I'll just make my own now that I have um, a good base sauce to make my marinade from. Um, yeah, so that is, is that's kind of my morning so far. And um, like I said, I'm going to um, get ready and for the day and then we'll have morning coffee with my folks. And um, then I am going to a wrestling match. And um, it is in the city, so yeah, they're ready to do, they're ready to go, they're ready to do things and uh, just enjoy the day. I'm excited for that. Um, also, also want to finish the sweater, so that's okay. That's what this evening's for, and possibly tomorrow. We'll see. Got to big pull out my big bin of buttons and find the buttons I want to go with this particular sweater. And I was thinking I want to go thrifting. Um, I'm gonna capture more buttons. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. My button supply is plentiful, but to a lower. <laughs> I'm going to get my button supply and show you one minute. I'm really hoping that maybe after one year, I think that's how long it took another person I know, to look at the camera and not at myself. Yeah, <laughs> camera. Anyway, this is my button supply. It's used to be full. It is not. It's not full anymore. So I need more buttons. Why do you say, well, if it was full, which it was, and now it's not, that means I'm using buttons for things. So, using buttons. Um, in my mind's eye, with this particular sweater that I'm making, I am envisioning, not that one. Maybe not this particular one, but silver is what I'm envisioning. Metal, metal buttons, metal buttons, button, button. Okay, so here's my buttonhole. Here's my alignment. And what do you think? Up, right? That's what I'm thinking. Thinking of silver. Silver buttons. I mean. That's too big. I do have another really cool button. It's kind of like, well, uh, kind of like green there, but they're gray and black. <clears throat> and that one would fly as well. It would blend better. So you go totally incognito, you know, so you could hide in the bush, be a creeper person, and nobody would see you. So that's what makes me think. Okay, this is the silver I was thinking. That's what makes me think that we need. <clears throat> Shiny buttons. Definitely not white. But I have, I have many. Many to choose from. And, um... This one here has a little sailing ship in it. Um, I have no idea if you're focused because it's all blurry. <laughs> Put my glasses on. It might be a bird. No, I need my glasses because I think it might be a bird. And I thought it was a ship. No F and idea, guys. I mean, yeah, they're wings. But attached to what? An alien? You see this bit? Weird. She throws it away. Anyway, I cannot find 
And it was it was like this, but bigger for this one. Definitely, I think, definitely metal. I think is what we're going with. Anyhow, I am going to get on with my day. And uh, thanks for sharing my morning with me. Watching me water, watch me water, whatever. I do that um, almost every morning. Um, I use my rain barrel. Water up my plants in my yard. And um, try to conserve this water. Apparently, I don't know, firefighters this time of year. Okay, so that's another thing that it kind of makes me go, hmm. Water restrictions, water restrictions in the summer, right? Odd numbers, odd days, blah, blah, blah. Don't wash your car, just water your, you know, your plant, don't water your lawn, blah, blah. You know, don't water anything outside. Yet all the car washes are open. It's something I try to get my head around from time to time. But I'm going to continue to do my part um, in, in trying to get this planet. I'm going to continue to try and do my part in getting this planet to heal. And um, the conserving water, most part of it, been great. You know, I will use. The other natural resources that the Creator provides, like the rain and my rain barrel to water my plants. I indoor and out, I do my indoors as well. Um, I was talking to my dad about it in the winter time. Uh, do I empty my rain barrel and then cap her off so she doesn't get full of water and freeze? You can't really water your plants with that ice water. I mean, how would you feel if somebody, you know, bathed you in ice water in the winter? You know, unless you're like one of those polar bear people. Um, you know, so, and then I'm like, oh, well, do I empty it? Do I wrap it? Do I, what do I do with it, right? So we talked a little more, and that's when we came to the conclusion, well, you can't really use that ice water in the winter. You don't really want to do that. Um, I don't necessarily have to empty it, but we won't use that water. And unless it freezes right solid, it will not crack the barrel, which... I really don't want to happen because, you know, I did take dineros to, to do that. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on with my day. Thank you again for joining me this morning. And uh, I'm going to keep on keeping on. And uh, it's really too bad that I didn't think to take you along the journey of all my projects and just showing you at my af after results. I think once I brought you along, for um, defrosting and cleaning the vents, and uh, I don't know why I stopped doing that because that, that was a pretty great video. <laughs> anyway, just going to keep on keeping on, and hopefully this channel will, will improve and, and become a little bit more helpful, <laughs> useful, entertaining, something. <laughs> okay, have a great day. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. May your day be full of grace, wonderful kindness. Don't forget to do you first. Self-love, self-care. All the things that make you shine from the inside out and admit that to others. And it gets reciprocated back. It really does. Give it a shot. Okay. Take care. Bye for now.